hello guys welcome once again in the last video i have shown you how to capture screenshot with the help of your netbeans java application so when i click this button it takes the screenshot and show it into the j label but if you have uh, noticed uh, this screenshot is not resized according to the size of my frame so the screenshot is bigger and my frame or label size is smaller so it only shows some part of the screenshot and not the whole screenshot in this label so in this video i will show you how to resize your image according to your jb label or uh, according to any j panel or anything in your netbeans palette so basically i'm going to tell you how to resize this image so you can use it in other applications also so let's get started first of all go to your source code here and we are going to make a new function here so i'm just making the function just above this capture image event or capture image function so this capture image uh, code i have shown you last time okay so if you don't know this code this i have shown you last time now i want to resize the image so i will make a new function so just go above your this button click event function or you can make it at the top of your code this function so just write private image and uh, so this function will re return the data type image okay and i will uh, name this function as scaled image and bracket and bracket closed and this function will take three parameters or arguments first is image so here we will pass this image which we capture as a screenshot so image give it a name i am g for example and then i will pass the width and height of my image which i want so int w comma int h for height and w for width now in here inside the function i will declare some variables first is buffered image variable and this will contain the resize image so i will name my variable as resize image resized image is better okay is equal to new buffered image once again copy and paste here bracket and bracket closed and in here we will pass some parameters so first parameter will be our width second argument will be, will be the height these w and h from here comma and in here we will pass buffered 
image dot I will select this type int rgb okay so just declare buffer image resize image which is my variable name is equal to new buffered image and in here i pass my width variable height and i write buffered image dot type int rgb in the second line i will write this is showing error because I'm not returning right now anything so I will just return this image now the error is gone now in between here I will write this line so declare graphic 2d and give it a variable name is equal to resized image which is this variable dot create graphics bracket and bracket closed okay now in the next line I will write this which is I will copy just this variable here and paste it here dot set rendering hint and in the bracket I will pass rendering hints dot key interpolation comma rendering hint dot value interpolated interpolation by linear okay so just write this and if this code shows any error this will be because you need to import some namespaces so just right click and fix import if this code shows any error just right click and just click fix import and it will take care of the errors okay now in the next line write this code so this g2 is this graphic 2d variable dot draw image and just pass this image variable from here to here dot zero or comma zero comma zero and then pass the width and the height variable here comma null so write this and one more line we need to write is we are going to dispose this g2 so write g2 dot dispose okay so you need to declare or make this function and you need to write this code if you want you can pause the video and copy the code and then I will just go to my design and once again double click this button and in this button click event I have made this code to show the screenshot which I capture in the J label which is this J label yeah right so now in this code I will change a little bit and I will call this resize or scaled image function so it will scale my image according to the label size so this code if you don't know just watch the last video and here we are going to change this third line in which I have declared the image icon icon is equal to new image icon and I am passing this capture variable which is buffered image so I will just delete this and I will call my function scale image function which I made right now in this bracket and bracket and bracket close and in here I will pass three variables first is this buffered image variable itself because first it takes the image variable okay so first argument will be this capture 
variable which is buffered image here second argument is the width right so just copy the name of your j label and second argument just paste it here dot get width so it will take the width of the j label third is the height so once again copy the and paste the j label variable name dot get height okay so we passed all three argument which this function takes and it's it it's returning uh, the image variable in return so just change this code like this here and now when you run your program it will resize your image according to the j label and it will show in the label the full screenshot so let's see this is my run j frame and when i click this it should show me the full screenshot so let's see yes it's resized my image and according to the j label and it's showing in the j label the resized image of the screenshot once again a little bit bigger j label and once again when i click this capture image it once again resizes the image and fix it into the j label so if you make your j label size bigger it will your picture will also be fixed according to the size like this okay so in this way you can resize your images to fit into your j label or j panel or anything or save it resize image in some file also this you can also do so this is very good function to for the images because not all the time you get the images of your desired size so you can just resize your images according to your desired or your desires and just this function you can use anywhere right if you are watching these videos i am showing i have been showing you this employee j frame from the starting and here i have shown you how to save images in the database and many of you have been complaining that this image in the label doesn't fit exactly according to the size of j label so you can apply that same function for this j label also so i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now